Just two years ago, Brittany Broski was working at a bank when she thought she'd download TikTok for a laugh. Now she's working with MTV and filling the internet with reasons to laugh. Stay tuned to find out the story behind Kombucha Girl. Before you do that though, why not click the subscribe button to our channel and make sure you never miss our fun videos. Back in 2019, Brittany Broski, real name Tomlinson, was living in Dallas, Texas. She was working at a bank in trust and investment services, as per her parents' expectations. Life was very normal for me. I had no idea what was coming. I downloaded TikTok as a joke, and I was like, what is this? People in furry suits and all this. It didn't take Brittany long to jump from scrolling through furry cosplay suits to uploading her own random videos. Among the first ones was the famous kombucha trial. It smells like a public restroom. <laughs> It all kicked off quicker than you'd say kombucha. The post reached 11 million total engagements, and it landed among TikTok's list of the top 10 viral videos of 2019. The new hit meme was very versatile, as a video or as a pair of opposite reaction pictures. Like, not the video, but the two reaction pictures. It, there's no language affiliated with it. It doesn't take an English speaker to think faces are funny. And that's how Britney became world famous. She jumped from a nobody to bona fide influencer in a matter of days, amassing 300,000 followers and millions of plays of her videos. The main booster? Gay Twitter. It was downloaded and uploaded to gay Twitter when I ate for the first time. And other ones like when I tasted for the first time and all these nasty like- Surprise, surprise, it wasn't long before Britney lost her job. Her middle-aged boss couldn't appreciate that it wasn't Britney who wrote the nasty captions. Britney told her boss, I want you to know that this is happening and that it's not me writing these captions that you're seeing. I don't have control over my own content anymore. But her constant posting on TikTok, as well as her lack of experience at the bank, cost her the job. Initially, Britney was not happy about it. I was mortified. I was so embarrassed to tell my dad. Like, that's so embarrassing. For what? Because I'm posting videos of me doing online? Like... Well, yeah. But there's always a silver lining to starting afresh, especially when you're an internet celebrity. A week later, with the help of a kombucha company, Britney flew to Los Angeles and started meeting with social media headquarters. She started working with Comedy Central, MTV, and she even featured in a Super Bowl commercial. She was also nominated for a Shorty Award, TikToker of the Year. The pace of Britney's life skyrocketed in 2019, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. Vox asked Britney how she's dealing with her newfound fame. Can she separate her hometown friends from people who just want to use her for clout? I don't f around with that circle at all. The friends that I've made online are my actual friends. You get shit like influencer parties where you should know better. Talking about friends, Britney has been living together with comedian Sarah Shower. That's good news for lovers of TikTok humor. As luck would have it, both Britney and Sarah got fired that very same week. They were online friends and decided to rent an apartment together in LA. And why not turn a boring LA apartment into a funny influencer hub? While Britney brought everything she owned in South Carolina, Sarah sold everything she had and started off simple, with a mattress and the kitchen table that was already there. Apartment furnishing differences aside, Sarah and Britney have a lot in common. They're both popular TikTok creators. Shower started her online comedy career on Vine, where her viral series of exasperated waitress skits propelled her to short-form video notoriety. Now, the duo makes content together, and it seems to be very popular. It's by Grace Hughes. Uh, who would you <laughs> fight? Who would you one silverback gorilla or ten unarmed Navy SEALs? To be honest, yeah. there are a lot of gorilla questions here, and I'm not that comfortable with it. Brittany and Sarah stay in touch with their fans and answer their most random questions, as well as read their energies. Kitchen at 2 a.m. Like a wedding gift you want to return. As a fairly fresh internet sensation, Britney is now feeling the pressure of being a content creator and admits it's not easy to create new content to get more followers. It's easy to reach a plateau. But she's determined not to stay a one-hit wonder. What's your favorite restaurant? Do you like trash restaurants? I love trash. Have you ever gotten blitzed at Applebee's? <laughs> they have like $2 margaritas. Britney is jumping from internet corner to internet corner, from getting a complete makeover by Trixie Mattel to trying out all the kombucha flavors in the world. Open up your first bottle of GT's Kombucha and Synergy. You just want to swirl it. Now this is, what's the mixture? So Trilogy is one of our best sellers. It's lemon, raspberry, ginger. 
Britney is staying active not just on YouTube, but of course on her own TikTok channel. She says people rarely realize she's a person outside her short videos, and most times people just want to see the same thing over and over again, rather than encourage new content. How's being an online creator for her mental health? I feel like people like my content because it's very genuine, but at what point will genuine turn into oversharing and an invasion of privacy? I'm being very candid with my audience and it's biting me in the ass. People would never say that shit to you in person, but they say it online and I have to read it. Regarding mental health, Brittany also talks about how chasing fame as a teenager is not such a healthy plan. She still supports the idea of finishing school and getting a degree and gaining work experience, chasing your dreams from a safe place. Fame is much more complex than what we see online, Britney says. The stress, pressure, expectations, and online hate often don't show in a glam three-minute YouTube video. She urges teenagers worldwide to research this before they throw it all away for a month or two of viral status. So, does Britney have any plans for the future? I'm working on some show pitches. My number one thing is voice acting. I want to do voice acting so bad. I want to voice act for a Disney Pixar film. That's my absolute end goal. Does she have a comedic process? According to Britney, the key to her comedy is sleep deprivation and lots of suffering and delirium. Um, okay, whatever floats your boat, Britney. Her final opinion on kombucha? Low-key, it's kind of good, but it's nasty. Several kombucha companies have since offered to send her drinks, all claiming that she would like their version more than the one she tried. She has obliged and is considering making a YouTube video rating each brand. Britney doesn't guarantee that she'll find the right kombucha. That is, a kombucha that doesn't make her face go through the six stages of grief, as she described her meme to the New York Times. And she's not keen on doing that again, given that every time she opens up TikTok or Instagram, she sees her face. Have you ever looked at your face for too long? That's what it's like. I'm sick of seeing my face. Sick or not, though, Britney blessed her fans with a sequel to the all-too-famous kombucha tasting video. Guess who's back? In the same spot. Drinking the same drink. Britney's most recent video? Making homemade fried pickles. Another episode of Britney's Kitchen, Cooking with Britney, the series, the sequel, the prequel. These are perfect. These are perfect! Keep making funny content, Britney. We'll be watching and copying your incredibly rich facial expressions. Did you ever use the Kombucha Girl meme? And in what context? Do you follow Britney on social media? Write us a comment and let us know what other viral meme or artists you like us to cover. Oh, and don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel.